Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Electrical and Computer Engineering Project. In this channel, I will make video tutorial on electrical and computer related projects. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, you can click on this subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notification every time I upload a new video. And you can also visit my blog from the link above and you can follow me on Twitter and you can send me message if you need anything. Hello everyone, today we will create a simple network with the help of Cisco Packet Tracer. Here you can see that there are many network devices and after that there are many end devices. You can use any of them for creating your network. We will use two PC and we will use a switch for our network device. Here I will use the first one. Now I need to connect it with the wire and as we are using connecting uh, two different devices so I will use this copper straight throw wire. I will connect with fast Ethernet and now you can see the red dot here it will turn green when the connection is on then you can pass any data from this computer to that computer but before that we need to go to desktop and after this we need to set the IP addresses here I will take a class C IP here and if we press enter the subnet mask will be automatically added in this computer and then after this I will go to the next PC here go to desktop then IP configuration here we will add IP address again and this will be the same IP address again the net ID will be the same but the host ID will be different as this is our C class IP you know that first 24 bit will be for net ID and the last 8 bit will be for host ID now you can see that the IP addresses has been updated here now if we you can see that uh, the sign sign is also green so we can send the data from here now let's take a message and we want to send it from PC2 to PC3 now if we start the simulation we can see that the message is going to PC3 from PC2 and after sending that message it will send back a signal to let the PC2 know that the message has been sent successfully let's see again the message just reached uh, PC3 now PC3 will send a signal back to PC2 to let it know that it has received the message then after that it will be successful now you can see that the last status is successful source was PC2 and destination was PC3 Let's send it from PC3 to PC2. Now you can see it is also successful. Now if we change the IP address of this PC, we will change the net network ID that will be 11. So they, these two computers are from two different IP address, two different network. Now if we want to send message between them using a switch, we cannot send the message. You will see that. The IP address is different from the other PC. Now if we go to simulation and if we send a message, you will see that it will not go. You can see the cross mark there and if we start the simulation, you will see failed here. The message is not going because the two PCs in 
two different network now as they have two different ip address we cannot communicate with a switch in if uh, the ip address is different so let's make it the same ip address again only the host id will be different and if we send the message you can see that it will be a successful process after sending the message it will send back a signal okay now you can see that it is successful process and if we go to command prompt and here if we ping the pc3 from pc2 so we need to write pc3's ip address here 192.168.11 sorry dot 10 dot 3 now if we wait for some time that pc will respond respond back it can take some time we can also ping from this pc too let's write the comment here too ping 192.168.10.2 now let's wait for some time for both the pc to respond and after waiting for some time it can take uh, up to two three minute too for the first time but af after that it will not take that much a little bit more time than the other time then after the PC respond back you can see all the information here the reply came from the other PC if we want to use two different network here we need to use router next I will show you that 